This is not necessarily the news. I'm Son Edom. Dateline London. One bride-to-be earned the title Bridezilla after receiving her wedding dress only to find out it looked nothing like the dress she ordered. The woman sent an angry message to the store demanding a refund for the dress and expressed her utter frustration over the betrayal. She even sent pictures of herself wearing the dress to prove her point that this was not the dress she ordered. Now, upon receiving the message from Bridezilla, the dress shop simply replied, you have the dress on, inside out. Dateline, Idaho. People were ecstatic to find out that David Rush broke the Guinness record for catching uncooked, unbroken eggs in his mouth. Rush scrambled to catch 24 of 36 eggs that were tossed, but with six ending up broken, that left Rush with 18 official eggs, which broke the record he had set previously by one egg. Rush showed his sunny side up after breaking his record and said the purpose of the feat was to promote STEM education, which doesn't go over easy with students. Now, Rush holds 150 Guinness World Records, which includes speed juggling while blindfolded and using his mouth to bounce a ping pong ball off a wall. No word on what the next record Rush might try to break, but maybe he should consider a move out of Idaho. Dateline Orlando. In an effort to outdo California's train to nowhere, the nation's first Jetson-inspired regional hub for flying cars is being built in Central Florida. Now, upon completion in five years, these flying cars will be able to transport passengers from Orlando to Tampa in 30 minutes and will have the capability to travel up to 185 miles per hour. Now, passengers will be able to make reservations on their phone, similar to Lyft and Uber, with the cost of the flight being similar to a first-class airfare. When enthusiastic representative of the company named Scotty was beaming with excitement when the announcement was made. Industry insiders are comparing this project to the humble beginnings of the Wright Brothers and the Model T, which fortunately have not been canceled yet by the cancel culture. I would expect California to follow suit any day now in an ongoing effort to squander their state's financial resources. This has been Not Necessarily the News. I'm Son Edom.